Hello, I'm Linda Ward. This is CBC News Network. NASA has decided to keep astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams in space for at least another six months. They've been unable to return to Earth because of a problem with the Boeing Starliner spacecraft. Has decided that Butch and Sonny will return with Crew 9 next February uh, and that Starliner uh, will return uncrewed. The astronauts will return in February with SpaceX. NASA Chief Bill Nelson says issues with Starliner's propulsion system make it too risky to carry its first crew home. The decision is one of NASA's most consequential in years. Boeing had hoped its Starliner test mission would redeem the troubled program after years of development problems and over $1.6 billion in budget overruns since 2016. For more on this story, we're joined now by Steve Futterman. Steve, we know this is a difficult decision for NASA yes. to make. Can you just take us through how they came to this decision? Well, Linda, it all came down to risk. I mean, that, that, that's the concern. Uh, they don't want the astronauts put at risk. NASA's had two, obviously, we remember Challenger, Columbia. There, there have been a, several unfortunate incidents in the history of NASA. They did not want to take a chance here. They do believe generally it's likely the astronauts could have come home safely on Starliner. But again, it's the risk. They just don't want to take the risk. And that's the bottom line. I think it's pretty understandable. Now, Boeing was uh, went along with this decision. They really had no choice. But Boeing wanted to bring the astronauts back on Starliner. They felt Starliner was still uh, resilient enough, safe enough to bring the astronauts back. Uh, they said they would go either way with whatever NASA decided. NASA decides to keep them up there bringing them back on SpaceX next year, next February right now. So it's a, it's obviously a, a drama, but in the end, the bottom line was safety. There obviously are new questions about procedures and the future uh, for, for situations like this. But for now, the astronauts will stay in space. On SpaceX, they'll come back, and uh, they'll come back a much, much later than anticipated. You know, Boeing and NASA had a lot riding on this, literally yes. and also figuratively when it comes to reputation and the program. What does this mean for Boeing and for NASA now? Well, it's an embarrassment for Boeing. Obviously, uh, you've not had uh, situations like this uh, uh, in recent years. I can't recall even quite a situation comparable to this where you had a situation, do we keep astronauts in space? Do we bring them back? Uh, there, there have been some issues like that before, but nothing to this level. So it, it is an embarrassment for Boeing. They want to be part of this this game, this this uh, uh, sending astronauts into space. It's a potentially a big money maker. It's prestige. So it's a lot of things for Boeing. So I would say it's a big embarrassment for Boeing. But uh, the, the bottom line is the, the 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 upside for bringing them back and having something else go wrong is much lower than the uh, downside they're facing right now. They will come back, the astronauts, on SpaceX. They'll come back safely, and then Boeing will have to try to figure things out. The, the NASA administrators have been very, uh, as far as they can be, complimentary to Boeing, saying that the company has been working with them. They feel that they are solving the issues that presented, uh, presented itself in this case, and they believe when the next Starliner mission goes up with a Starliner craft, they will not have this problem again. But again, Definitely an embarrassment for Boeing. It will be interesting to see if their stock price is affected on Monday. I'm not sure if it will or will not, but it's certainly something Boeing's looking to in the future to be involved in sending astronauts into space. And this is certainly a, a, a big hurdle we'll have to overcome. Mm. And it's certainly a hurdle for these two astronauts as they settle in oh, there yes. for the long haul. Steve, thanks very much for this. Thanks, Linda.